Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Book Club, the next chapter. And this is from writer-director Bill Holderman, who's back at it again with a sequel to his first film, this comedy about a group of four women, played by Jane Fonda, Mary, Steenbergen, Diane Keaton, and Candace Bergen, who get through COVID, doing their book club over Zoom, um, you have Carol, played by Mary Steenberg, and her restaurant goes under. And you have Candace Bergen and Sharon retiring from being a judge. Jane Fonda is engaged now to Don Johnson's art. And they plan on, because of circumstances all swirling together, this group goes on a bachelorette party trip to Italy. And they go from Rome to Venice to Tuscany. And along the way, are bantering with their very specific generational brand of humor. A lot of wine jokes. A lot of book references. A lot of that. this very specific type of humor that, like, if you're not really into it, you're probably not going to enjoy this. But if you do, you're going to get plenty of laughs along the way. They do mix in other types of humor. You have some physical comedy, stuff like that. But in general, like, I had some good laughs watching this. There's a few moments that really lean into, like, some energy musical moments that, like, there's one at this particular party that they go to um, with the song Gloria playing, and it just kills it. It's one of my favorite scenes in the whole entire film because there's this genuine feel to it. These four actresses have plenty of chemistry. They feel like real friends, and you can buy into that. Narratively, it's bouncing all around. Each of them has their own thing, like Jane Fonda's trying to process, I don't want to be a bride. I don't want to be a wife. Carol Steenbergen's character is struggling with her husband, Craig T. Nelson, who is had a heart attack and she's afraid to let him live his life. And she has an unexpected connection while she's out on this trip. Diane Keaton's Diane. She has Mitchell... Andy Garcia in her life, and they're such a great couple, but she's afraid of that commitment. And Candace Bergen and Sharon just trying to find her focus again and her motivations now that she's retired. And they each have their own arcs, and, you know, they they go their course. But I feel like the challenging thing is this film has a zippiness to it up until it comes to its third act and the end of its second act. It comes with a screeching halt pacing-wise. This film probably could have been done in 90 minutes, but stretches it to an hour hour and 47 minutes. So that 107 minutes, that extra almost 20 minutes, just feels so drawn out. And they take each of these stories and just pull them so thin to the point where it's just like, get on with it. Finish the story. I know where this is going, but then it goes into these really heavy-handed obnoxiously staged moments that feels like they just take you and rip you right out of the movie watching experience it's frustrating and like you just want to finish this film but it just keeps dragging dragging its feet and you know from a directing film making perspective it's very very saturatedly lit like a TV show, there's nothing particularly, like, obviously, like, the beauty of Italy, you can see that and you can feel that, but it just shot so blandly, the music is overly manipulative and just feels like it's trying to dr draw all of that out of you, and after a while, it just becomes a bit grating. This film has a very specific audience, and I think if you register with it and you click with it, and it's your brand of humor. There's a lot of fun to be had with it. But if you don't, it's not really going to do that, unfortunately. But in the end, this is a follow-up film that, you know, knows its characters, rests with those characters, and doesn't try to do any any too big uh, heavy lift. But those are my thoughts on Book Club, the next chapter. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.